everybody. Welcome. It's just in time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Hello everybody, Larry here and welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen. Today is going to be a video on a Chinese Jinhao 159 broad nib. Uh, it just came in today and I'm going to compare it against a uh, couple of different uh, American broad nibs um, and uh, some Jinhao medium nibs to see how much line variation there is in this uh, Chinese uh, broad nib. Uh, I know I've had one before a few years ago and uh, at that time I couldn't tell any difference between a uh, the difference between a 159 broad nib and a 159 medium nib. They were to me the same. At least my opinion. So now I'm going to show you the audience and let you decide what you think if this pen, the Jinhao 159, is a broad nib or not. So let's get to it and I'm going to dip, uh, dip the ink in some uh, cross black ink and we'll go from there. Comes in this little sleeve, that's it. And I forgot what this pen cost, 99 cents maybe? I'm not sure, but but much. So here it is, a broad nib. And the markings on the pen does not have if it's a broad nib or not, but that's what it did say when I looked it up. 18K go plate it. So, but I'm sure you're familiar with Jinhao pens. So here we go. First line is going to be down. That's with pressure, with no pressure. And it does write nice. I'll give it that. Yes. It's a nice hard steel nib. And we'll check for wetness here in a second. Remember, I'm just dipping the nib and feed into the ink, so it's going to be wet. There you go. Well, that's the pen in question. That's what it's all about. Is this a true broad nib or not? Well, let's take this other 159. And this is a medium nib. And here we go. No pressure. Pressure. And we'll do a few S's. And some wetness. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go to another 159, and this is the Goulet broad nib. There you go. Broad, broad. And you can tell this is a true broad, at least in my opinion, I can tell that they're too broad. Nice. And here is a Jinhao medium nib. Thought I'd throw that in there. I'm going to put it right between there. And it looks the same as the broad nib from the Jinhao 159 right there. Right there, so that looks the same, and that looks thinner than this broad nib right there. So, 
about the same on Dusty. Now here is an Anderson broad nib. There you go, that's a broad. Very much so a broad. Very much so a broad. Nice and wet. Wet, wet, wet. Now, let me get this broad. Against the Jinhao 159 broad. This is the uh, Goulet broad on the right and the Jinhao 159 broad on the left. Now, let's go ahead and do the Anderson broad. I'm going to put that on the right. There you have the Anderson broad. To the left in the middle is the Jinhao 159 broad. Anderson on the right. Anderson on the right. Jinhao's in the middle. So now we'll do a comparison one on one even. Let's do the Jinhao a bigger line. How's that? It does ride good though. I'm saying I, I like it. Anderson, Jinhao, broad. Anderson, broad, Jinhao, broad. Jinhao, broad, which looks like a medium to me. And we'll do Goulet, broad. And it ran out of ink. Let me just dip it in real quick. And there's a Goulet broad. One fifty nines broad Chinese right here. So yeah, I can tell the difference. Well, I thought I'd share that with everybody today. And stay tuned because I I am going to be showing this week, the Trisby 580, excuse me, 1.5 nip. Also this week, I am going to be showing you some new Lamy nibs that I purchased. One is a oblique nib, and I'm not sure, I think the other is a double broad. Uh, they're in... The Goulet box that I haven't opened up and we'll do all that together in the next show. So stay tuned to Larry's Fountain Pen for some cool stuff coming up. I hope everybody had a great today day. It's Monday. It's been a frightful, delicious, great day. And uh, yeah, I'm doing okay uh, finally after the loss of some pins. But uh, uh, I've had my depressions and uh, I've had my... Uh, my tantrums and my screaming and faint spells and all the good stuff that goes with with it when you uh, lose a pen, right? So, all right, peace, love, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out of here. Love you guys.